Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for a quick look. Today we are looking at another free game that goes by the name The Very Organized Thief. Uh, this is a game that I got off Game Jolt. Like I said, it is free, which is probably the best price. Uh, but I would gladly actually pay for a game uh, like this because this is actually a really cool game. Uh, you know, there's really not a lot of games that are built around like robbing someone's house. Uh, so every round starts a little bit different. Uh, so sorry for my phone. Uh, so every time you start off, you have a different checklist of things to borrow. Uh, right now we're looking for the toaster, the microwave, the radio, a portrait of a lady. So we kind of have to look around as much as we can to find these things. That is the portrait of a lady, and it is a creepy looking lady. Uh, we use E to kind of do, or no, it's E. Take portrait of lady. Oh, space bar, duh. Uh, so we have our flashlight we can turn on and off. We have our list here. We have shift to run. Um, let's see, Blender, Voss. The other nice thing too is it's kind of cheating in my opinion a little bit, but uh, you can actually just kind of mouse over everything and that's an easier way to know what you can and cannot take. Uh, space bars interact with everything though, which is something I somehow forgot. So there's the microwave, we'll grab that. Uh, blender, we'll grab that. Gold bar, uh, obviously not probably going to be in the kitchen. Diamond ring, vase, gold bar, toast, toaster. Toaster would also be in here. So we kind of also have to listen carefully because eventually we may hear some other stuff going on. Okay, obviously I don't want anything to do with that bread there. So radio, is that what that sound is? That's a bracelet. What is that sound? What is this? Oh, nice. So that turned off that awful, awful buzzing sound. Uh, I'm not sure where the radio would be. So yeah, basically, uh, this is a game where you go around and steal stuff. And okay, that's how we escape then. Ooh, God, that is a loud clock. Jeez. All right, well, let's head upstairs because I think we got pretty much everything we can get down there. If not, we can always come back. So here's the bathroom. Oh, we should probably go down there and turn that off. There's some money. It's a teddy bear there, but we're not looking for that. Oop, there's the diamond ring. Uh, still no vase. Hmm. But yeah, I, I like the uh, presentation of this game a lot. I really like the visuals of it. I mean, I know it's really simple, just 3D. Uh, but there's some, ooh, a uh, safe. That's probably where the gold bar is, right? That's where I'd guess. Money stack. Can I just have the money stack? Do I have to, I mean, I want it no matter what. Where is the code for that then? Can we, are we supposed to take the money? Is that like bonus score stuff? It must be. All right, so we're trying to find the code for this now. So, ooh, more money. I don't know why this dude just has money stacks scattered throughout his house, but I'm not gonna complain. This place is kind of a mess. Mm, still no code. TV. Where could this code be? Ooh, I think someone's here. Oh no. Sounds to me like somebody is home. Can we get in the closet? Are we in the closet right now? Alright, I'm gonna hide in here. I don't know if they leave or if they go to bed. I'm assuming there's some more audio cues to know what to do next. But yeah, like I said, the game is The Very Organized Thief. It's a pretty cool game. There's not a lot of games about robbery. Payday 2, I think that's one of the reasons Payday 2, or Payday in general, is so popular is because it's such a simple thing. Like, you don't need zombies, you don't need aliens, you don't need monsters, like, just good old fashioned robbery. Cops and robbers, you know, it's a game we've played for as long as I can remember. But this is kind of like a, a search game, like a Where's Waldo type game almost. But, you know, we're a criminal. 
So I hear a person walking. Ooh. I mean, I don't know if they can, like, notice that stuff is missing or that stuff is not where it's supposed to be. But it's hard to tell where they're at. And I don't want to give myself away with this light. This is like a reverse horror game almost. It's hard to tell where they're at in relation to anything else. So he's definitely closer right now. So should I open the door? Why is he just walking around his house with the lights on? Or with lights off? It seems weird to me. Uh, oh shit. Am I screwed? Hey. Can he not open the doors? I think I'm fucked no matter what. Hey there. Hey, ooh, you're creepy. Oh god, you hit me. Wait, will he stay out of this? Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> yeah, I failed. You were subdued by the owner. I don't know how we're supposed to be able to, uh, to, uh, avoid that. I mean, I guess we're just supposed to be quick. So now we have a different list, or we're supposed to have a different list. Can I, like, turn this fucking clock off? It's so annoying. Can we lock the door, like, with this clock? Can't get in now. All right, so we need laptop, DVD player. DVD player is right here. Take game console. That's easy enough. Perfume bottle, digital camera. Got to get that gold bar again. I wasn't able to find the combination last time. I'm assuming that statue. Oh, there's a laptop. I thought I saw the laptop the other time. That's the statue. The vase. These are not vases. You know, it might be better to go upstairs first, I'm starting to think. So we need a vase. And I'm also wondering if turning on this light is a good idea or a bad idea. Ooh, office key. Maybe we need, we probably need that actually. We should probably open as many of these doors as we can too, just to make it easier to get around. Where is the office? Oh, there's the vase. Nice. Is this the office? Fantastic. There's the combination, 2652. And num that's probably different every time. So we have to actually push this in. Five, six, two. What? That was totally it. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, is that like an alarm that's set up to something else? Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Shit. I mean, I'm assuming, I don't know if I'm supposed to like run in here, guns blazing. What do 
are we still missing? Digital camera, perfume bottle. Perfume bottle is probably... How... Oh, shit. Oh, no! Damn it! Last time you went upstairs automatically. I'm running. Oh, fuck. This is like a survival horror game now. Oh, fuck. No! Go away! Occupied! <laughs> fuck, man, this is hard. Alright. I mean, obviously, if you played enough, you'll get a lot of the same stuff. Bracelet, pocket watch, stamp album. That's not a stamp album. Microwave TV. Yeah, sure, let's just grab the whole fucking TV. I mean, there's got to be some aspect of this game that I'm missing. The portrait of the lady. So, yeah, there's only so many things we can take. I should have unplugged this last time, too. There we go. Uh, portrait of a lady. What's that? Ooh, there's more locate. So some of this stuff gets moved around, I guess. Wait, what's that? A knife. Can I defend myself with this? Probably not. I feel like that would kind of defeat the purpose of the game a little bit. Uh, that portrait of a lady, we know where that's at. Perfume Battle Stomp album. Bracelet. Pocket watch. Alright, where is the... What?! How is he already home? I'm fucked. I'm screwed. How am I supposed to do this if he comes home so fucking early? 3302. It's like he knows something's up. 3302. So this is where the gold bar is and all the money stacks. Nice. Oh, that's right. I cut all the power. But this is still on somehow. So we're not going to be able to get through this one. But at least this time we were able to get the save open. So that's some amount of progress. I just don't know how we're supposed to... I don't know what we're supposed to do now. What does that sound? Oh, that's the clock. I can't hear anything. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming this guy's gonna be standing right here when I get out. That seems to be how this game works. No? Can I crouch? No. Okay, so he didn't open the door. Did he? Fuck. Did he just open the door? No, he didn't. Okay. So the bracelet is over here, right? I mean, realistically, he'd be able to see the light. Pocket watch. Underneath the door. But that's fine that he can't. Money. <gasps> Perfume bottle. So do we only need one more thing? That's the bracelet, isn't it? No! Damn it! Fuck. Oh, we missed the stamp album, too. Wait, he's not able to hit me. No! Fuck. Lose him. 
Can I outrun him? Oh, that's dumb. That's kind of unfair. How am I supposed to fucking win if I can't unrun him? I don't know. Okay, so the game is the very organized thief. I really like it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to win. Like, unless I'm just awful. Um, I mean, you guys can go ahead and give the game a, a play for yourself. I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you guys can play it. But yeah, I just don't really see how I'm supposed to be able to do this. Um, like, how am I supposed to be able to set up traps? Am I supposed to be able to... It just seems like there's something missing, or that I'm missing something, and I don't even know what it is. But yeah, like, oh, what the fuck? I was, like, stuck. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, there definitely seems to be something to this game that I'm not quite getting. Also, does that turn off the electricity? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I would be curious to see how you guys would fare playing this game, though. Um, is that the photo album? Probably. And then, you know, because obviously if you play this enough, you memorize where a lot of the stuff is, but that kind of takes all the fun out of it. But it looks like stuff moves around. Like, the laptop was there, and now it's not. So some stuff gets moved around, which, I mean, I feel like if they didn't do that, that would kind of mess up the game a lot and make it way too easy. But I, I don't really see how I can evade this fucking guy. There's the laptop. But there must be some, like, aspect of the game that I'm missing, and that's fine. Like, that's what makes these kinds of games interesting, is uh, how they can change, or how they can... The go I think the gold bar is always an objective, which makes sense, since it kind of has a couple different things you have to do. I fucking dropped the pocket watch. Mobile phone. That's a mobile phone, technically. No, stop fucking... And I lost that money now. Whoa. See, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I I like this game a lot. I just there definitely is a disconnect here with how to play it. And uh, I would like to get better at it. I just don't really know how. But I do like it a lot, so. Uh, you can check it out. It's the very organized thief. Uh, it's kind of a tough game, but I'm sure there are people that will be way better at it than me. And there's supposed to be a tablet somewhere? I do not even know where that would be. Maybe that's in his office. I gotta find that fucking key. Which... Where was it last time? Last time it was in a really odd spot. Maybe we, we haven't checked out in the garage yet. There it is. Bicycle. Bicycle! Mobile phone and... Just the gold bar? And then we're done? Or was there another thing? Tablet, gold bar? Oh, no. Sometimes the list doesn't pull up. Tablet, mobile phone, gold bar. That's a radio. That is also not a fucking mobile phone. F uh, seven, seven, three, four, six. Ah, damn it. Damn, damn, damn. We even got more time this time. Seven... Nice. All right, where? Okay, so is it that that's like, is that why he keeps coming back? Is because I'm going for the safe? Is that like scripted then? Because that's kind of what it seems like now. Is that that is scripted? I think that is what's going on. If only the phone and tablet were in here. Then we would obtain victory. But we're not. Damn. I got close that time. So maybe the problem was the order I was getting things in. Can I, like, keep this guy away from me with this? Yo, bitch! Eat this stool. Nope, nope, that didn't work. Yeah, I don't... I Okay. So I'm not the greatest at this. I escaped. Cool. So I didn't get it. Oh, okay. So I can't leave until they get home. Making you a... 
Organized thief. Okay. So you don't have to get everything. You just leave when they get here. So I guess that makes a lot more sense. So there, you could have a perfect run uh, by getting everything and all the money. Uh, but you can also leave and get somewhat of a score. So my high score, I guess, was uh, 37,080. You can play the game for yourself. There will be a link in the description below to play it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your scores are. You know, it's always fun to compare that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching this episode of Quick Look. This is The Very Organized Thief. It's a pretty cool game. I kind of would like to see it become more, you know, like maybe a $5 game with like different scenarios. Uh, I really like it a lot. It's a really cool idea and it keeps you on your toes. And I really like it a lot. So check it out for yourself, you guys. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Like this video, if you have a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do forget to share love. Uh, suggest any games that you would like to see down in the description below. And I'll see you guys for the next quick look.